Today I'm going to be starting the Prolon 5-Day Fasting Mimicking Diet. This is a 5-day limited calorie diet that tricks your body into thinking that you're fasting. One of the hot topics in anti-aging medicine today is how fasting is one of the main things that you can do to help promote longevity and basically live longer. But it is not so fun not to eat. And a lot of people practice intermittent fasting, which I definitely recommend. But if you want to do something longer, it can be quite painful. That's why the Prolon 5-Day Fasting Mimicking Diet is something that even I can do. And I'm not great, great at fasting. Because over the span of five days, you will be eating a limited calorie diet. So you are eating, but the food is carefully chosen by scientists to actually trick your body into thinking that you're not eating. So the idea is that you can technically get the benefits of fasting without having to fast. So everything that you eat for five days is in this box. It comes with a water bottle, and then each day of the five days, the food is in its own container. This is all the food that I'm gonna eat today, and it comes with a menu here. So I'm gonna start for breakfast with a nut-based L-bar, herbal tea, and the algal oil. Now you don't want to add anything to this because once again it's very carefully chosen to trick your body into thinking that you're fasting. But as you can see, I won't be fasting today. Now each day you do end up eating just a touch less and so the first day you eat the most, tomorrow is going to be a few less calories. Day one has the most calories of the week and uh, you can see here up in the corner that is a picture of my dinner for tonight. So each day though is going to be a little bit less food. It's the end of my first day on Prolon Fasting Mimicking Diet and it went very smoothly. Uh, no real main issues with uh, feeling too hungry, but the next four days are going to be much tougher. Here's the food for day two and as you can see it's a little less than day one. Um, this is about 800 calories. Day one was about 1150 calories. So this is where it starts getting a little more painful. I'm in the middle of day two and I'm eating my olive snack, which are so yummy. And I'm a little hungry today. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is to help promote longevity. One of the things that we're learning in anti-aging medicine is that uh, stress on your body can be very good for it. And it can actually help promote the longevity genes. And there's a lot of ways to promote healthy stress on your body. Healthy stress is stuff like exercising you know, working out, doing a HIIT workout, that's healthy stress that can actually help with your longevity and your overall health. And actually fasting, not eating for a period of time, whether it's intermittent fasting or fasting like this with a fasting mimicking diet, can also help promote those longevity genes as well. Day two is over. I was actually a bit hungry this afternoon, but overall did just fine. Tomorrow's gonna be a special day because there is a little surprise that we're able to have on day three. I'm now in day three of the fasting mimicking diet. And let me show you what I'm gonna eat uh, for each meal. So breakfast basically is the nut base bar, which is really, really tasty and it's nice and fatty actually. Uh, for lunch, it's gonna be tomato soup and almond and kale crackers. Now some of these days they have snacks in the afternoon, but today they don't. So I'm a little bummed about that. And then dinner is a minestrone. So today is probably the hardest day of the five days. And it's because the calories are definitely lower today. There are a couple of things that we normally have uh, in day one, day two, and day four that we don't have in day three. So today's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I'll make it through it. And there's a little surprise for me at the end of the day. So why am I doing the fasting mimicking diet? Well, this diet is based off the work of Dr. Walter Longo. And he is a director of the Longevity Institute at the University of Southern California. He has spent his life researching why it is that certain populations in the world seem to live longer than other populations. And one of the big reasons for that is fasting. Now, fasting is something that has been performed by humans for centuries. But in the modern culture, especially the American culture, we really don't do that anymore. Now studies are showing that fasting has a lot of different benefits to the body. And one of the big benefits is the process of autophagy. Autophagy is essentially cellular renewal. And when your body runs out of energy, if you're not eating, you're fasting, your body needs to get that energy from somewhere. And one of the big things is from intracellular damaged organelles. 
One of the ways Dr. Longo describes it, it's like your body is like a locomotive that runs on wood. And that's similar to how autophagy works in your body. Your body runs low on energy, and so it starts using those intracellular damaged organelles for energy instead. And this is that process then that helps to basically rejuvenate our body from the inside out. Now, a lot of people who fast find that when they get to a certain point in their fast, they feel fantastic. They've got great energy, their skin looks better, and if you look at their laboratory results, they seem to improve as well. But fasting can be really, really difficult, and that's why Dr. Longo created this fasting mimicking diet, where you're essentially eating very small amounts of food, very specially chosen to trick your body into thinking that you're fasting. Day three is over, and it went actually very smoothly. Last time I did the Prolon fasting mimicking diet, day three was actually really tough for me, and I was a little lightheaded and stuff, but this time it felt great. And the best thing is I was able to have a few apple slices as a treat today. It's day four, and here's my food for day four. You can see it is a little more than yesterday. Uh, I've got breakfast, which is this bar. Uh, lunch is the vegetable soup with some olives, and then dinner is the lentil soup, and I've got this Choco El Crisp bar. And this is the afternoon snack if I want it. I'm sure you're wondering just how good does this food taste? Well, it depends. It's Some of it's good, some of it eh, I can do without. So you start every breakfast with the El Nut Bar. And this is a bar that is filled with pecans, it's got macadamia nuts, it's got almonds with a touch of honey, and it actually is really, really good. So it's a good way to start out the day. At lunch, you usually have a light soup like mushroom soup, tomato soup, or this one, which is vegetable soup. This is actually my least favorite of all of them. I didn't find this very filling. And then usually they give you either olives or uh, some crackers, uh, which are like kale type crackers. The olives are fantastic. If I had to pick one thing that's my favorite, it would be the olives. And once again, the soups are kind of so-so for lunch. Dinner is some type of a minestrone soup, and that's a bit heartier. So of all the soups, the minestrone are totally my favorite. And then usually they'll give you a choco bar, which is a choco crisp bar, kind of like almost a dessert. It's very small. It's pretty good. My wife really likes it. It's not my favorite, um, but the soup overall is pretty good. So would I eat any of these foods if I wasn't on the Prolon fasting mimicking diet? The ones that I would eat definitely are the olives. They are very tasty and quite salty. I do like the El Nut Bar and that I would eat and I have had that before. Uh, and the minestrone, even though it's basically kind of powder with some peas and stuff, is actually quite good too. So those are the only three foods. Everything else, no thank you. Day four is over and uh, today I was a bit hungry, hungrier than I think I was last time I did the fasting mimicking diet. Uh, but I am looking forward to tomorrow. It's the last day and last time on day five, I felt really, really good. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow, uh, but I am looking forward to finishing up the whole thing. Day five, here we go. Today, the diet is pretty much what you've seen before. Breakfast is the uh, L bar. Then we've got tomato soup for lunch with the crackers. Dinner is the minestrone. Let's go. This is my last meal on day five on Prolon, and I'm very excited. It actually is my favorite of all of them. It is the plain minestrone, not the minestrone with quinoa. And I'm very excited to finish this and eat regular food tomorrow. Overall, today was quite smooth. Uh, I tell you, it was probably my fault, but I, this is a holiday weekend, and I did quite a bit of work outside. Uh, and I did get pooped out a lot quicker than I normally would. Uh, but other than that, I feel great, uh, not really feeling that much hunger at all, uh, which was similar to my last experience when I hit day five uh, when I did Prolon uh, before. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to start eating regular food again. We start on a transition diet where you want to start with uh, kind of foods that are easier on your stomach. And this is the whole idea of the stem cells. So the autophagy occurs when you are not eating and your body then is utilizing those intracellular damaged organelles uh, and waste products to power you. And then once you get, go back into the refeeding, this is when the stem cell formation starts. 
Dr. Longo discusses all of that in his book, The Longevity Diet. I completed the five-day prolonged fasting mimicking diet. Everything went great. I'm back to a normal diet now. And I'll tell you, it went very smoothly. Now, there are times where I was definitely a bit hungry. There are times where I was uh, definitely envious of what my family were, were eating. Uh, but in the end, it was well worth it. Now, I ended up losing about six pounds or so. I'm sure some of that was water weight, but overall I've lost the weight and I've kept it off over the last several days. So it was definitely well worth it. If you are interested in trying the Prolon Fasting Mimicking Diet, a lot of people do it before an event. Once again, you can lose several pounds in a fairly short period of time, but most importantly, it can stimulate your intracellular renewal, your autophagy, help that anti-aging from the inside out. There is a link in the caption below for you to check it out and to try the Prolon five-day fasting mimicking diet uh, on your own. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think and your experience. Thank you so much for watching. Check out this video right up here.